Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Terra Tech. I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. You've got two techs! Oh my god, that's right, we've got another one over here. We've actually got three because this thing now has its own little cab on the top. How awesome is that? I've been busy! You can see tons of money from between the episodes and uh, two techs. I decided to divide them up and create a harvester and like a, a combat vehicle <laughs> and I've been having a lot of fun with this one over here oh yes you can see tons of money been collecting loads of resources learning bits and bobs as we go along one thing that I observed a moment ago it seems like you get a lot more drops from rocks if you use the drills on the front than you use these things I tend to sit back and shoot at stuff as I go to harvest it and uh, yeah, I observed that doing it with a drill was a lot better. I also had a lot of feedback from you guys about how these refineries work. Apparently the delivery cannon is slower than the refinery, which means that sometimes it puts the items back out onto the conveyors and then they get stuck there. If you remember, we had that little tro trouble or problem. <laughs> um, so now what we have is three delivery cannons for two refineries and it solves it completely. However... They always seem to put the items into the same delivery cannons as if there was no delay. So it's a little bit confusing, but we fixed the problem. Looks like the sun is going down as well, which is kind of annoying. Don't like recording at night. Um, so we're going to get close to this thing. We're also going to do a bit of an experiment here and just pop these on the back for now and see how much we get from these when we drill. So that was like, what, three pieces? I've seen about like four or five from the yellow crystals that stick out of the grounds. Now this is a big one right here. We are obviously still shooting it a little bit. Uh, but nowhere near as much. And look how much money we get from this stuff when it's refined. Absolutely crazy. We are going to make <laughs> make it big with this stuff right here. It's good. So if we have a look in the uh, surrounding area by zooming out. Oh, that's as far as we can go. You can see that I've cleared out a massive area around here. Just going around constantly getting tons and tons of resources. Wow, we are really raking it in. <laughs> and uh, it's been going... Pretty well. However, I haven't seen like hardly any bad guys, and usually there's a lot more closer to this area. So I think maybe something's changed. Perhaps as you destroy them in this area, they stop respawning as much. I'm not sure, but definitely, as you can see, cleared out all of this area without any interruption from bad guys. So I've basically just been using this one over and over again. And uh, and yeah, here you can see it's working just fine. Now, if we were to attach another one of these on the back, like a refinery and the conveyor and all of that. Um, then we would have the problem where the refined ones would start coming back out again. So we'll redesign this thing and upgrade it as we go along. I like how it looks at the moment. It's really cool and it will definitely get bigger over time. Now that is a bad guy off in the distance who we're going to fight in a moment. First of all, we're going to head back here. There's a little bit of an experiment that I want to do. And we'll make it a double experiment because some of you are saying, don't worry about night time, just record at night, it's fine. And I don't think it's going to look so great on the video, so we're about to find out. Right, what we're going to do is right-click on our AI module over here, and we're going to get a little menu, except we're not getting it. Why are we not getting the menu? Is it because I've already clicked on you and I need to click on something else first? Yep, we're going to set it. Oh, it's already on harvest mode, so this thing is now a harvester, and I was hoping to try and get it to do some work. But it's probably just going to drive straight into that thing over and over again, isn't it? Let's give it a little nudge. Uh, we should also probably put those cannons back on the front, <laughs> just in case it gets into some trouble. And yeah, this is what I was expecting. The AI isn't really going to do too much, is it, other than <laughs> do what it's done before, which is absolutely nothing. So let's click on this one over here again. Are you in idle mode, or are you harvesting? You're in harvest mode. Let's set you to idle, and then back to harvest. And you're just going to sit there and do nothing. Fair enough. I don't know what to tell you to do then. <laughs> Alright, so I had that suggestion from a few of you. Doesn't look like it's really going to do much. I'll try again for sure. Let me know how the video looks at night time. As you can see, it gets quite dark. Probably these areas over here don't look um, too good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sit here and wait for day. And then we're going to go and fight that bad guy over there in the distance. Alright, before we go out and fight this thing, we're going to uh, do a little bit of rearranging. I've shuffled the wheels back at the front here, so now we've got some extra extra coil lasers on the front, which is cool. We're also going to move these things around to the side. Got some comments saying that we should do that. They're a little bit more effective when they face forward, so we're going to give that a try. We're just going to take off our lights. I don't really like playing at night too much, so they're not terribly useful. So we'll put them there and there and then swap these around to the side and our firepower now should be pretty amazing. And I do just want to say if you're enjoying this video be sure to leave a like, show some support on this series. Do appreciate it when you guys do that. You know it makes a big difference here on YouTube and uh, yeah I just wanted to remind you. So 
That looks pretty good. That looks very good, actually. We're going to go and do a world of damage to this guy over here. I hope. I hope I don't mess this up. <laughs> so, let's start shooting from a distance and try and hit him from a distance as well. And try and hit him side on as well. He's not coming for me yet. There's almost the right opportunity. We can get him just the right slope. We can hit him a couple of times first. That looks good. Yes, we just... Now he's coming for us. We've got to... Oh, no, we're going straight on. That's not always the best. <laughs> and there we go. Right, we definitely came out the victor there, but we probably took a fair bit of damage, I imagine. Oh, and let's back away before it explodes. There we go. All right, so what did we get from that? Let's take a look at damage, first of all. We... Is it me, or have we not actually lost anything at all? I don't think we lost a single thing. That is a complete and utter victory, then. <laughs> we got ourselves a thimble pad over here. Can we drop things like this on top of it? Probably not, right? I don't think you can. I've never seen that happen before. Uh, we'll take back these wheels. It's always good to take back stuff like that. I might want to make this thing a little bit bigger and longer. And it looks like we've also got a refinery, another light. That's always good to have. Uh, but nothing game-changing here. I mean, having one of those is good. <laughs> Although we can buy them. We've got tons of money. What we really want to do is find um, the game-changing stuff now. So I think what we want to do is some exploration out into the deserts. And we'll probably do that with our plane. Maybe even try and find a base. I'm also going to try and bring... Oh, look at that. I'm going to struggle going uphill. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I thought that might have been because we took the wheels off the front. So, um, yeah, we're doing okay. We need some repairs. We also want to get this stuff back. And I'm wondering if we can sort of drag it from here to there. Probably not, right? <laughs> No, it's it's going to be a bit sucky. I'll find a way to get it across. So this is the plan for today's episode, to go exploring and hopefully find ourselves a base or something to scavenge, which would be pretty cool. Um, also, got a few comments from people saying that I should put these shields on my uh, tech. So I've got a question for you guys. If I do that, how are we going to power it exactly? Because the solar power has to be put onto the ground. It can't be on a mobile vehicle. And uh, we need a battery to power this thing otherwise, unless there's something that I'm missing. So let me know, and uh, I'm going to go over here, <laughs> and we're going to fly this thing once again. It's a little bit heavy at the moment. We're not going out there to gather materials, so we're just going to take the one off right now. It's going to make like a tiny difference. This thing needs... <gasps> oh god, that was a little bit fast. A little bit of a redesign, I think. It also might need repairing, but for now we're just going to go flying. And off we go. I forgot to hold down shift. <laughs> It'll take me a while to get used to the controls. Now if we go around to the left, there was something that we spotted on our mini-map when we went looking um, in the other episode. We went into the blue desert, which is over in this direction. Yeah, I found something uh, on the mini-map, which I'd never seen before. Like, not on the wiki or anything like that. I think it's a bit more over to the left. So we're going to go in search of that. I'm hoping it's a base. And apparently some of these bases we can find completely unguarded, which means we go in there... We basically take it over and then bring all the stuff back, um, which might be a little bit problematic. As you can see, there's a large area between us and that area, and it's full of bad guys as well by the looks of it, so it might take us a little bit of time. And man, look at flying this thing. It's definitely awkward. It's not as steady as the previous one, but I don't mind. It's all good. So, is this the blue bit right here? Kind of looking very red. Looks more blue over to the left. That looks like it. And as you approach it, doesn't it look like an ocean? Doesn't it just naturally look like that's where the sea is? And then you get a little bit closer and then you realise, oh, that's not water. That's something else. So when we came over to this area, it was somewhere closer to what's on our left. I don't know what that biome's even called. And there's a little marker now appearing in this direction. So maybe that's it. Let's head over there. No, it definitely... Oh, I thought it wasn't in that area. It's below us. It's not that... It was uh, on the minimap directly below us a second. I don't think it's a bad guy. Let's try and land. Oh, that was a lovely landing. Amazing. And then turn to our right. It is something here. Oh, that is it. I do believe that is something I haven't seen before. But what is it? You are <laughs> kind of looking like... Oh, what are they called? Like a little... Do you know what? It looked like something. As I get closer, it looks nothing like it. So don't worry. I couldn't even remember what it's called. So it's like a half block... Yep, it's called a half block. And what's below it? What is this? Tell me. It's a block dispenser. <laughs> right, does it just dispense random blocks for me to pick up at my own leisure? Well, put that there. And then what do you do? Is that it? I can come back here later? Can I pick up this thing? It's a rotoring anchor. But I can't move it or pick it. So I'm guessing you can come here and get random items. Well, that was an interesting thing to find. I've got myself a half block. Not particularly useful. Let's hold down shift as we take off. 
And there's another little tech right there, isn't there? There's two of them, actually. One of them looks quite brutal. <laughs> Got a load of guns on top of it. Cool. So anyway, I guess it's time for me just to continue scouting and see what I can find. We're looking for a base. Never found one before, so I'm not sure what exactly to expect. I've got a feeling it might look a tech, or look like a tech, and fool me a little bit, but we'll just go exploring. I'll try not to go too far, because if we do find one, we want to bring it back to our current base, right? Or maybe we want to move that base out to a new one. I don't know what's the best thing to do. Um, feel free to give me some advice in the comments, of course, and I'll continue flying around. <laughs> It just said it on the screen a second ago that I found an enemy base. I do believe it's turning to night, except in the desert it kind of glows orange in the in the sky. <laughs> There's a, a little red biome behind me, and when I went through it, uh, the whole thing, all the rocks, the yellow ones in the ground kind of illuminated, which is really cool. So we'll see that again. Somewhere around here is the enemy base. I didn't see it on the ground, but I saw it on the, on the mini-map, and it looked like four things clustered together. It's over to our left. Look at how it all illuminates. It looks so cool. And, oh, that is it right there, apparently. That looks like there might be weapons. I'm surprised I managed to miss that. <laughs> um, it seemed kind of awkward to see. So let's pull around, try and keep our height up, because that thing looks vicious, and have another scout again. There it is. So can we drop in on it? I think we can. Are there any rockets? Things like that. Yep, there's rockets. Continue, continue flying. <laughs> There we go, right, we're not going to go for that one then. We need to find one that's unarmed. A lot of you have been saying you can find unarmed bases, so I'll continue on our journey. Look at this chap, he's yellow, and he's got no weapons on him, but I think he has a drill. A lot of you have been telling me about these ones as well. You destroy him, you take their parts, they can't attack you unless you get close because they've only got a drill. So we're not going after that guy, but uh, another thing that we know is out here. Lots of reasons to explore at the moment, it seems. The sun is going down, and I found a base. It's actually our base, and it has two types of little bubble shields here. And now they're probably going to go down because it's too dark. Um, I saw this thing on the radar. It was uh, a blue circle, so I decided to land next to it. It looked friendly. And look at this. There is this thing, which is a shield bubble projector. That's actually a shield. And this one is the healing thing. And now it says bubble, not pad. So we definitely want that. <laughs> and what else is there here? This looks seriously cool. That thing, is that a battery? It is a GSO wireless charger. It allows for the charge of batteries and transfer of energy from generators. If I could finish reading it. Or charge batteries on one tech to another. Does that mean we can now like buy all the things that we've seen here? Because we've just seen them or do we have to like attach them to our thing? Anyway, this is actually ours. It's got a little cab on it. You can sort of click on it like this and then become this base, which is interesting. And what we're going to do is attach this thing and we're going to take back the shield. And yes, it will probably be useless because we don't have a battery, but I want to bring that thing back, of all things. And now can we get on our way? We've got to click on this, right? Yep. So I can continue flying. There is a bad guy nearby, and I'm not sure what to do with this. I'd like to take this stuff back. I'm also wondering, do we want to move all the stuff out here? We could make one big machine um, to move our base and our techs out. It's really kind of hard to judge um, when you haven't played this game enough to know what to do. But we came out here to look for an enemy base and to scavenge some new things. Uh, mainly a battery, so I'm going to continue doing just that. And look at this, you can see these guys at night. Do you know, they just like spin around in circles all day. They've got nothing better to do. <laughs> anyway, let's continue our exploration. Best landing ever. Do you know what this thing is? Yep, it's another block dispenser. Do you know what that is? Yep, I think it's that thing we've been looking for. Oh my god, come on. Yes, it is the small battery cell. That's awesome. We now don't really need to find another base to do the things I want to do. I'm hoping we can still fly. Uh, battery low. Okay, don't worry about it. Can we get out of this situation? Oh, please don't tell me that we're stuck here. That is ridiculous if we are. I do, I do believe we're well and truly stuck. I'm going to wiggle around and do my best here to get off of this thing. Maybe if we tap it over and over again, sort of nudge ourselves off to one side. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Come on. No. Oh, I'll find a way. Don't worry. Look, the front's coming off slowly, so we'll probably have to rebuild this bit. For the time being, we are now a land tech that desperately doesn't want to encounter other techs. Do you want to know why? Because I can't fly. And apparently I can't go across land sometimes as well. Yeah, when I fly, I just go up into the air a little bit, continue going upwards and fall on my ass. Now, <laughs> I've got the battery at the back, I tried it in the middle and the front, and uh, in all instances it just couldn't fly. So... We'll do it a little bit here. We've got an enemy over to our right, which is kind of worrying. 
Um, here we go, we're up. I'm holding down shift. I can't really up or down, doesn't do anything. And then we land like this, and it does some damage, which is never good. So got to be super cautious now. We are a really long way out, and I'm worried. If we encounter anything in our path, we've got to go around it. <laughs> and there's something in our path right there. Please don't come towards me. We've got to get away. We've got to get away. Oh, this is going to be crazy getting back. But I'm confident that we can do it. Don't worry. <laughs> So clearly we've made it back safe and sound, and we are now taking things to the next level. Check it out. We've got a battery, we've got a healing bubble and a shield bubble, and the battery is actually starting to run out of power. So we need to come over here, and we need to charge it wirelessly like this, which is extremely cool. <laughs> and uh, this thing, by the way, I couldn't make it until I picked it up, so I had to fly back out to the other base, and when I attached it to myself... I mean, I brought it all the way back here, but I do believe now we can buy it at the shop. So uh, the thing that I observed here... Let's have a scroll up. It should be at the bottom of the list or somewhere near here. There you go. Wireless charger. We weren't able to buy those before. These things, by the way, are pretty expensive. <laughs> Three to four thousand each. And uh, if we go up to the top here, you can see that this one, this was always available. And that's because we picked it up and attached it to ourselves. That's when it unlocks, not when you see it on the world. So a good thing to notice. And uh, also it says armor plated. So I think that front side there has got a little bit more protection than the regular blocks. So that's something to consider if we ever redesign this tech. We've also been invaded over there in the distance. What I want to do right now though is find some unlucky tech to get annihilated because now we have a ridiculous amount of firepower. We also have, as you can see, a shield <laughs> and a healing bubble. And right over there there is what looks like a pretty strong enemy actually. So we're going to give this a go for sure. That looks like a beastly thing. Let's creep up behind it. There we go. Tons of damage done immediately and the fight's over before it's begun <laughs> and we've taken no damage. Uh, before everything blows up, that looks like something I want to keep, except it blew up. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I guess when it blinks that fast, uh, it's not going to be so good. So these things are good for gathering resources. I'd like to play around um, with those for sure because we're going to be adjusting our, uh, our other tech and changing it up. And what else have we got? A few blocks, a few wheels. One of those is always useful to have and another weapon. So not too much that that's great um, from that one. And I'm noticing that we're struggling to like attach things to our tech now because <laughs> there's uh, yeah there's just so much stuff on it right now. So let's pick up a few more things. Wasn't there like a weapon here? Yeah, it's dropped back over here. Right, so it's dark again. Never a good time to record. I'll pick up uh, a few more bits and bobs here like the wheels and we'll head back over to base. Alright, so I'm thinking we're going to need a harvester redesign. I want to attach these things to it. They're going to be like scoops. As you can see there, they're actually called a plow. Yes, that's definitely the better word to use. So we have a couple of plows at the front. We can push the materials along in front of us so they don't get caught underneath. And then I'm thinking, what if we could fit some of these things in between each of them? So they push the things along. As soon as this is ready to pick it up, it does so. Puts it into a refinery, then into the delivery cannon. That could work extremely well. And without any conveyors in the... Uh, in the formula there, then it, uh, it shouldn't back up or anything like that. So what I've been testing is if that we can drill at this height right here so the plows can go underneath. And it appears that we can. We can go up into them. I put all of my weapons at the back so it's just the drills being used, which appears to get you... Is it me or are we not actually doing anything? I think we've pushed in too far. There might be some problems with this. I just did a few tests. It was absolutely fine. Probably depends on the, on the terrain underneath and how it's angling you. Uh, but we can go into this and we can get drops this way. It's a little bit silly, that gun on the back, isn't it? Uh, there's also a bad guy over there, so we won't go in that direction. And they were just the grassland rocks, so they didn't drop anything. But we've got the drills on the front. They drop all of the drops down below, then the plow, and these things could pick them up and refine them. I reckon that's going to be a really cool design, so that's something that I want to try. Um, is this grassland rock again, or are we going to get something cooler? <laughs> Looks like grassland rock, doesn't it? Yeah, usually you can see a little colour strip in them. Anyway, this one over here will be a good example. So you can just go into it, drill it away, and then all of the drops will be at the front, except we'll pick them up for the front so they can get refined quickly. That's going to be fun to redesign. I'm probably going to do that in between episodes and then use it like crazy, get tons and tons of resources. So this thing can have some batteries and shields as well. It's going to be like a standard for each vehicle now. <laughs> And check this guy out, he is seriously vicious. Anyway, it looked like there was a strong one over in the distance here, so let's give it a go. Let's start firing right about now. Oh my god, that thing looks beastly. It also looks kind of spread out a lot, <laughs> if that makes sense. And if it weren't for these rocks, and for some reason I can't move... Oh, get out of my way thing. Um, we would have had him there. 
Come on, get out of it. You're mine. So there we go, you're done for. Right, so we take a step back, that explodes, we can have a look at what goodies were left behind. That thing definitely had some stuff I hadn't seen before. Lots of these brackets right here. Um, that thing's powerful, we'll take that as a good weapon. But nothing else. I don't think I really want to pick these up. I haven't had much of a use for them so far. And uh, attaching loads of these, loads of things to this and then taking them back again is a little bit of a pain. So looking around here, it really looks like it didn't have anything that useful. We've got another weapon over here. That's good, I'll take that. <laughs> And uh, what's this? Is that something I've seen before? What are you? Oh, you're another cannon thing. All right, cool. So at least we got like a decent amount of weapons from that, didn't we? And is that a storm lantern? Yeah, it's just a little storm lantern. We've got plenty of those already, I think. So nothing too great from that one. And uh, <laughs> we'll probably head back to base and charge up our battery. You can see it's gone down a little bit. I decided to bring them back. You can just attach one to the next. And actually, they look pretty cool when they're like that. If ever we build like a base and a structure, which is part of the plan, I don't want to keep it looking like this forever. <laughs> and then having something like that in between can help it look really cool. Because aesthetics are fun as well. And so far, you know, you've not got too many options with this game. And wow, we brought back loads and loads of rockets. And we're running out of space to put things on as well, which is quite funny. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. As always, if you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like on the video. And if you have any feedback, suggestions you want to leave, then leave a comment down below. I'll be reading those before I record the next episode, which will most likely be on Monday. I want to say thank you for the support in this series. It's been fun so far. We're going to keep it going this series, and this game is a lot of fun. <laughs> and yeah, so that's it from me. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.